Hey, and welcome to my channel, Fun with Revit and Dynamo. Today, we will have some fun with Dynamo. I use it to combine two project parameters into one and report it back to a specific location that's also a parameter. The parameter that we want to combine is location code and system code. This is a three step process. Step one is to extract the necessary information from Revit into Dynamo. Step two is to organize that information inside of Dynamo. And step three is to report it back to Revit to a specific place. In our case, that will be the project parameter TFM code. Let's get started. We open up uh, Dynamo. And find the node categories. And we select here structural columns. Next, we want the uh, information from all the elements of this category, structural columns. So we find the node all elements of category. We change it to manual, so we have a little bit more control over when script is running. As you can see, we have now extracted all the information that contains in every structure column element in our project. So this is conclude uh, step uh, one, extraction from Revit. Next is step two, we want to organize the information. And more exact, we want to organize the two parameters shown earlier. We do that with the node, with the node element get parameter value by name. The element we have from step one and the parameter name is location code. We write that in a string node. We run it. Hmm, okay. Yes, okay, so it's case sensitive. We just change the C to a lower case and it should work. Ah, perfect. We copy, we copy it and do the same for the system code. And now we enter the core of this video, merging the two parameters into one. We use the code, uh, we use the node list combine. We place uh, location code for list one and uh, system code at list two. Next, we want to separate the two parameters with a hyphen. We need to create uh, three inputs since we have three different input values, the two parameters and the hyphen. And since we want to separate the two parameters with the hyphen, we connect it with string one. And we connect string concat with list combine and run it. And yes, it's created a single parameter out of the three values. And that's uh, conclude step two, data organization. We create a group to make it easier to, to separate uh, different uh, steps and easier for another user when they open this script. Next is uh, step three. We want to report the newly created parameter back to the structure columns and the with the parameter named TFM code. Find the node element set parameter by name.
we have the element and we have the value we created we specify the parameter with the with the string node Uh, and hit run just perfection we have now reported our uh, created parameter in list combined back to revit back to the structural columns so every columns uh, in this project is five have gotten the parameter tfm code reported back and that is the end of this tutorial if you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.